All right, here we have the Nexus. This is the actual new Nexus 7. Uh, it's going to be out pretty soon. It's got a release date of uh, July 30th. But let's take a quick look at uh, what you can expect if you pre-order. They're taking pre-orders. Uh, it's got the nice kind of color box. This is the 32 gigabyte uh, Nexus 7, as you can see here. Uh, it's got the 7 like they had in the first generation on the cover here. They put like little, and then now the box is blue. So let's take a look and see um, what you're gonna, what you'll get in here. Okay, and here you go. This is the Nexus 7. As you can see, it's much thinner and much smaller than the previous version. Uh, you can hold it comfortably with one hand. As you can see, let's see what else is in the box. Then I'll come back to that. Usually there's not too much as you can see it's got um, some little paperwork here, warranty safety, uh, let's see what else it's got in here, you got a little brochure paper it just kind of tells you how, what, how to charge it, uh, it's got NFC, GPS, uh, it's got all the 2 gigabytes of RAM on these and then they, they come in 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte as you can see that you get your USB cable and the charger so it's kind of your basic uh, basic items you don't get too much in there but just the basic stuff so let's move this to the side here and let's take a quick look at here I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll power this on but I'll pause the camera now that way it doesn't take too much of the time on the camera but let's do a quick look it's very nice as you can see it's got like this rubbery feel just like the other Nexus it gives you a nice uh, makes it nicer to hold as you can grip it here and as you can see in the back it's got the Nexus uh, labeling there uh, this is also this is Asus is uh, the manufacturer for this so let's take a quick look now they've added a camera in the rear the previous generation um, many complain about no camera in the back now they've added a 5 megapixel on the camera in the back and as you can see here on the right hand side you have your volume rocker uh, it's got the little I believe, yeah that's the little microphone here on the side here your power buttons right up above here as you can see the 5 megapixel camera on the top it's got your uh, three and a half millimeter uh, phone earphone jack there the top and everything as you can see everything is very smooth uh, they've done a nice job of keeping this round corners here uh, just kinda it's got the smooth surface there like gives you a nice be able to grip it here without no problem and as you can see it's got the two stereo speaker system uh, there in the back it's very loud uh, and it's got uh, surround sound in some of the settings so here you got the openings you can see here let's come back down here on this other side there's nothing on the right left hand side uh, as you work your way down to the bottom is you only got your micro USB uh, uh, port here and again there's the speaker the bottom one so there's the two speakers uh, the right and left so when you're holding the Nexus like this and you're playing anything you'll be able to hear sound coming out of there up in the front there you can see this got a 1.2 megapixel camera uh, it's not the best camera so it'll do for your regular um, video chats and things like that uh, I can see the sensor here next to the camera that should be your ambient sensor light so that's gonna be for your lighting and I believe it might have another one down here like when you get messages I think it turns on here um, I, you gotta check that out but overall as you can see it's very nice quality made it's, these edges are very nice and round so let me uh, I'll go ahead and pause this and then we'll power this up and then I'll come right back up alright we're back and as you can see everything's loaded up uh, it's very snappy as you, uh, everything's very fluid uh, very crystal clear I don't know if you guys can see the detail that shows up very nice uh, as you can see here it's very high definition I'm liking this, uh, all the fonts as you can see here, very clear. It's got the 1980 by 1200 uh, fonts on this. Let's uh, let's see if we can open up. Uh, I had to put some web pages here. Let's go to 
msn.com here. As you can see, even these smaller fonts, they're very, uh, they're readable, even though they're very tiny. Let's see if you can, guys can catch that on the video. Let me see if I can, I'll zoom in here as much as I can. Hopefully you guys can see that on the video. <clears throat> but all these fonts, they're all readable. Even though they're very tiny, they're very clear. And as you make them bigger, they're even more readable. It's got a nice font size to it. Uh, as you can see here how clearly no jagged edges or anything in the fonts they're all very clear that, um, that's very nice uh, you'll be able to read this and the pictures as you can see all the pictures are very nice in detail uh, everything shows up very nicely everything's running very smooth as you can see how quickly and fast everything moves uh, around let's take a We'll do the camera here. As you can see, it took a picture right there very quickly. Very fast. It's not going to be the best camera. As you can see, it's, they come out grainy. But, you know, if you need to just take a picture to, you know, just kind of document things, uh, it should be, it do a nice job. This right here, you get the settings for exposure. You can make it a high, as plus two. Uh, you can go as low as uh, negative two as well. Make the picture if it's you know very bright light. You can use that to take your pictures as well. So the camera is very quick, as you can see. As I'm just snapping away, the pictures and camera works very quickly. Uh, I'll open up a let's see go to books I'll just load up anything um, let me see if it's this one's got a sample here we can load this up just so you guys can see the the quality of this uh, this will make a nice uh, ebook reader as you can see here see everything is very very clear and uh, that one doesn't doesn't have for zooming but you can see how clear the fonts are very readable So very nice. I'm liking this. Uh, you can see. Let's open up this other book here. Go back up a little bit for you guys. Uh, as you can see, the side bezel here. They shrunk down the side bezels here. Uh, but the bottom and the top. Um, it's got very big uh, bezel. As you can see, it starts from this down here. So what that is is more when you have it in part or uh, landscape mode, you can kind of hold your hands or your finger and your thumbs here on the side, without having to touch the screen. Uh, I kind of would like if this would have been actually a little bit thinner on the sides. Uh, kind of makes it look for an awkward look for it. As you can see, the fonts are very clear. Uh, hopefully it can catch it on the video here but I can tell you right now that <clears throat> these fonts are very clear that makes it almost look like paper paper clear the back has got nice lighting as you can see this is another let's go back here um, let me go back to the books here I'll choose this other one to give you an idea see as you can see how very very clear fonts it has on there and also the brightness on this uh, right now it's actually not the full brightness that is full brightness right there is very very bright as you can see everything's bright and clear so if you're outdoors this probably would do pretty good outdoors being uh, it's got some brightness on there very nice zoom in loads of pages fairly quickly uh, depends on your internet connection everything zooms in and out very fluidly scrolls quickly and again like I mentioned fonts are very readable whether they're small or big either way 
Uh, I'll show you guys. I'll compare it really quick. I'll show you um, just so you guys can get an idea. This is the Galaxy Notes. This one's 1280 by 800. So we'll go ahead and um, let's go back. I'll go to the main screen here. Give you an idea of the font size here. Let me let me lower this uh, brightness on this. Oops. I won't keep it so bright. I'll just keep it at half waist. Give you an idea here, and I'll put this one at half waist too. We'll go back. As you can see, the fonts on the Galaxy Note, they're all readable as well. But as you can see, the fonts on the Nexus, even though those tiny ones, they're very clear. No jaggedy edges or anything. I mean, they're just perfectly clear. On the Galaxy Note uh, 1280 by 800, it's okay. It's readable, but they're not as clear. Once you zoom in, the, the, there's a little bit much better once you zoom in. But even when you zoom in on these, uh, on the Galaxy Nexus, Nexus, sorry, on the Nexus 7, you can see the difference. And then we'll compare also to the, let's see, we'll, we'll, we'll compare it to the Kindle. Let's see if we can get to the same page. This is the Kindle 7 inch uh, screen, then the Nexus uh, 7. As you can see, how much smaller it is in both having the 7 inch screen. You can see how much what the difference is. Uh, actually, the Nexus 7 can fit in your back pocket of your pants, but I wouldn't be putting it in the pants because if you sit on it, you might break it. But let's take a look at the screen there, as you can see. Let me zoom on this so you can see the 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 H the Kindle uh, Fire HD. It's resolution, I believe. Yeah, it's twelve eighty by eight hundred, same as the uh, Galaxy Note. But this is a seven inch screen, so it, it this the fonts on this is a lot better than the Galaxy Note, being that it's a seven inch screen. Uh, you can see how they're still clear. Here it is a very very tiny font. Uh, it's readable, but again, it's not as clear as the Nexus 7. So let's go take a look at something else. Well, we'll do it like a little benchmark here. We'll run the full benchmark and we'll just kind of see what it comes up at. Uh, many of you guys don't don't like these benchmarks, so I just want to kind of see what uh, what it rates at. It's usually more of what how well it performs while you're doing your 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 work or browsing or whatever you're using it for uh, for games or whatever you need it for that's what most mostly to me it comes better than doing these uh, uh, benchmarks but you know, the only thing that you can do for the benchmarks is uh, you know get an idea of what your device is capable of so um, let's see as I can see this one's uh, running at 59 60 uh, frames per second that's very good this one's at 26 uh, frames per second, 25. So we'll put yes here and we'll see our, as you can see, it scored up at uh, 5415 uh, on this benchmark. The next one, the HCC one was about 4600. I believe the Galaxy S4 is also, I think the uh, Galaxy S4, yeah, it's, it's around 50 something as well. It's pretty close to the same as this. So again, this is benchmarking um, with the uh, and the Nexus 7. So that's very comparable to the. Let's see. We'll do test. Start test. So it kind of rated uh, same thing, kind of like with the Galaxy S4. So. Gives you an idea of what you can do while well, that's doing that test. Uh, I'll show you guys uh, how thin it is. As you can see it there in the video, the device is very thin, which makes it very nice to hold and carry. It's very lightweight, so you can hold it with one hand. Um, sometimes, with the, being the 
you do kind of run into a problem with the, having the bezel too too thin on the sides. As you notice, the Kindle has it very wide bezels, and they've done that for a reason because if you're holding your your device with one hand, you can pretty much put your thumb there, and you won't accidentally click on the screen or anything. So you know, Amazon these are more uh, is geared to you know ebook reading and and um, you can use it for the browser, but these are the way they've designed the bezel is more for that versus uh, these other ones as you can see the new Galaxy Tab uh, 3 as well they've reduced the bezel on the side on the Note you can see um, it's a little bit wider but not too much wider they've also cut down a little bit on this but I would have liked the uh, I've seen the top and bottom much smaller they kind of looks awkward but again like I was mentioning if you do hold it uh landscape mode and you put your hands and hold it like this uh, it, wor it works pretty good this way uh, you, you won't have no problem at all so let's see once it's done with the benchmark see how how well this uh, rates in here kind of like an overall score here so far as doing it as it's doing this I can feel uh, it does it is getting warm on this upper side by the camera I can feel it right here it's it's warm to the touch. It's nothing that's very hot that would probably be uncomfortable to hold. But if you're running a game and holding it like this, you are going to feel it right about here. Um, I'm sure if you're running games, uh, that's going to get a little warm on that side. So it's just a, you know, just a quick note about that. Let's see, it's almost done. It's at 87%. So yeah, this is a quick look at the Nexus 7. Uh, hopefully, if you guys are thinking of buying one, you, this will give you an idea what you can expect if you order one or thinking of getting one. It's a very nice design, as you can see here. Okay, the tests are done. As you can see, a CPU scored at 7412. The GPU scored 9035. As you can see, it's running that 1.5 megahertz. So it's got times 4. <clears throat> This is running the Snapdragon Pro 400, I believe. Yeah, the Snapdragon Pro 400, Pro 400. So it's, it does a pretty good job. It's got the RAM it's got available. So the total score is 19,884. So it, it did pretty good. It, uh, it did a nice job on that scoring. But I like to um, see... As you can see here, it is a Samsung Galaxy S4, so it's comparing it to that one. So you can see what the Samsung Galaxy S4 did in the scoring, and versus uh, your score here, that would be up in the 4000s. It's just scored just above the Galaxy S4. The HTC One is below the S4. <clears throat> so that's just a quick look. Nexus 7. This is a new. This is the second generation. If you guys thinking about buying one, or if you pre-ordered one, uh, hopefully you guys get a. Should be released uh, July 30, July 30th. Um, so that's thanks for watching. And just before I want to also show you guys that it, it seems it looks like the Galaxy, sorry, the Nexus 7 will support like the uh, wake and sleep mode. Uh, this is the Nexus case, and as you can see, that you can turn it on and off. It's got the magnetic. So what uh, I noticed that if you set this uh, on top of the magnet, it does turn it off and on, as you can see. So it, it will support the wake and sleep mode. I'm sure they'll come out with the cases, and you'll be able to, you know, just do the same thing. As you can see here, I put it down off and then on this way it's on so just thought I'd show you guys that you know we should expect to see some cases uh, with the wake sleep mode for the Nexus 7